All right, boys, welcome back to another video on the XC channel. So I think I have found one of the weirdest videos on the entire internet. I mean, this is crazy because literally it is 2021. I mean, how much weirder can it get? I think it's really hard to top having literal humans barking at people. And if you aren't aware, that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, what the hell is this? I mean, you can like who you want to like, but bro, you guys are literally barking. But basically, the point that I'm trying to get across is the video that we're going to be reacting to today is weirder than that. I have no idea how you even do that in the first place. But you're probably wondering, Xy, bro, what the hell is this video? Just tell us. Quit hyping it up. You're fucking annoying. Well, dude, to cut to the chase, basically, this video is some guy who is literally obsessed with Pac-Man. Behold, I am Pac-Man. Yo, what the hell? Now, honestly, man, I have no idea how I came across this video. I just was scrolling YouTube and uh, I found myself on this video. And I thought, hmm, this is some top tier content to react to. So uh, here we are. But uh, before we jump into that, if you guys would go ahead and leave a like and subscribe on the channel, you don't have to, but I'm just trying to grow the XC fan base. And that truly does help me out a lot. Once again, you don't have to do it, but it's free. It only takes a second and you could undo it later. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the guy who is literally obsessed with Pac-Man. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. Okay, dude, we're not even like, what, two seconds into the video, and this guy's already saying that he, like, imagines, like, tingles running up and down his nipples. Like, I don't know if this man is okay in the head. I don't know what drugs this man picked up off of the side of the road and ingested into his body to, uh, feel this way about Pac-Man, but, uh, hey, you do you. And it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey, look, it's Pac-Man. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. You know, any normal person would think that maybe they just show like some gameplay of Pac-Man in the next segment, but uh, I'm here to tell you that it is, uh, it's worse. <laughs> Look what you've done. Now, I really hope that this video is a joke because I literally kept a segment of him literally just reenacting Pac-Man in his head with the sounds and everything. Once again, dude, I don't know the amount of drugs that you have to do to get this obsessed with Pac-Man, but uh, I don't know. It's definitely a shit ton of drugs. He's definitely been smoking a lot of that ganja, if you know what I'm saying. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. No way this man has a wife. Like, no offense to this woman, but how do you literally stoop so freaking low? I mean, hey, maybe he's just packing a foot long, if you know what I'm saying. Because if I'm being quite honest, I am surprised surprised that somebody who is literally obsessed with Pac-Man can find a girlfriend, let alone get married to that girl. Uh, he has the psychic connection with Pac-Man. You know, if a man who is obsessed with Pac-Man can get a girlfriend, it really gives me faith for all those single people out there. I mean, it can't be that hard. I mean, this guy is literally living walking proof. So moral of the story, go outside and get that girl that you've had a crush on for years. And if you get rejected, so what? You only live once. Uh, with that being said, uh, I do not take any responsibility for ruined friendships and or relationships. Ships. Pac -Man. Pac -Man. I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just... Oh. <laughs> This man literally just went up and hugged a literal arcade machine. You cannot make this shit up. And to be completely honest, I don't know what thing would make me want to run up and hug it just like he did in the video. Like, I don't know, maybe like 100,000 subscribers or maybe Fortnite in its prime. Because you have to admit, in Christmas time when it was winter break, hopping on with the boys and playing some Fortnite was like no other game. But to go as far as this man and to literally go and hug a Pac-Man machine, that's just insane. Hi, Pac-Man! The drool will be there and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? Okay, this this like has to be fake now. Like, can somebody inform me in the comments and just confirm for me if it is fake or not? Because I'm pretty damn certain that this is fake. Like, there's no way somebody is worshiping the great yellow one. But on the off chance that this is literally how he acts every single day, then bro, I mourn for his family. I mourn for his wife. Because bro, if I was married to somebody who was obsessed with Pac-Man, I don't think I could really just put up with it like that. Because if this is real and if this is how he actually acts every single day, then bro, this is mad embarrassing. Like, the man could have just asked for his quarters politely like to be fair he did ask them very nice but honestly he could have just said hey can i get some quarters and then that'd be that right but this man is going as far as to say that he is worshiping the great yellow one which is just like what what the hell man certainly certainly 
great yellow one from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. This is really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't. OK. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. OK. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000. $10,000. $10,000. Do you know how much you could do with $10,000? With probably only like three or four thousand out of that $10,000, he could have just bought himself his own Pac-Man machine and not had to pay anymore. He probably could have bought that exact machine from the exact place, if we're being completely fair. In quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this man is like a little kid. Like, you find a little kid, give him a tablet with Roblox on it, and that's how they'll be acting. But what's even worse is that we're in the situation where this man is a grown-ass man and he's playing Pac-Man. Like, I don't know how somebody could be this fascinated with the game of Pac-Man. Like, after the third or fourth time of me playing it, I just get bored of the game and I go find something else to play. In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> Look at those people in the back just trying to enjoy their food, enjoy their day, you know, do their thing, right? And then you have somebody over here just having an aneurysm over losing in Pac-Man. I mean, hey man, maybe there's just something I don't really understand about the Pac-Man game. Maybe I'm just not on a spiritual level with Pac-Man. When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, the melting way he does, it always brings me a feeling that Maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. I mean, as stupid as this video is, I still think we could really take something like a life lesson from this. Sometimes in life, it's better to take a different path, so make a left instead of a right, like he mentioned in the video. Or something like that, I don't know. I think I'm just trying to get something meaningful from this video. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man. Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? Why is this man talking like a literal child? Like, bro, this is Pac-Man and you're literally a grown-ass man. Like, there's no reason to be talking like a baby to the game. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore and it's all me. You get to watch me play. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to- Ha ha! Pac-Man eat you now! Ha! How's that? Is that all they do to Bond? Because if so, that's pretty sad. I mean, bro, you got Netflix and chill. You got Disney Plus and Bust. Uh, I mean, what, what else? I don't know. I think the literal last thing that you would expect somebody to invite you over to do is to just take turns playing Pac-Man. I'm gonna cry. Oh, why? No, don't cry. <laughs> Okay, hold on. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Whoa, 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 man. I did not know it was a sexual attraction. I think that's just another reason why I feel completely horrible for this man's wife because, bro, he's sexually attracted to Pac-Man more so than he is to his own wife. Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> it's a bad new go! What's wrong with you? Tim, Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to pack man is to use the game! You move the joystick and you eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. Okay, I have no idea who this guy is, but let's be honest, he never misses. Because let's be honest, if this video isn't fake and it isn't meant to be a joke, then dude, all of those things that he is saying is true, and he does need to see a therapist. Because holy crap, man, his obsession to Pac-Man definitely isn't healthy. Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> Like, bro, someone get this man some help. Sometimes, he just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally, I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life. And I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Yo, this is just like the people that go around asking, do you know your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? I have no idea what they're called, but you get what I'm talking about, right? He's either similar to that or similar to somebody who's whacked out on three times the lethal dose of heroin. There's really no in-between. Because, I mean, hey, he's literally yelling Pac-Man at people in public. Like, I mean, let's be honest now. Pac-Man! Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the golden one who is round and eats things. All right, well, that's the end of the video, and I'm just hoping that this is a joke, and I really just hope that there isn't somebody who is that obsessed with Pac-Man. I really hope that this is a character, and there actually isn't somebody who goes out in public and just yells Pac-Man at people. But regardless, if you guys did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It truly does help me out and boost me more in the algorithm, so I 
can grow the XE fan base more. But yeah, thank you all for watching today. I'll catch you all later. Peace. Yo, hey, on the day I decided to be a villain, my mentality was set free, but somehow I was still in my body, kicking it like karate at my mom's crib, bipolar bitch, always switching up like on Viv, so I devised a plan to kill shit like Van Damme, and I hate when people always in my face, so my evil layers on an asteroid and out of space, 